Well, you know, the pandemic shut down most county fairs this year, but one will still take place, but it's going to be a lot smaller this time. Yeah, the Multnomah County Fair is this weekend. It'll feature no rides, no games, no crowds, but there will be things happening at Oaks Park. Joe's going to tell us now what is going to be going on, and you've got a taste test that's coming up, right? What? I'm very excited about that, Kim. Yes, we've got a whole bunch of goodies in front of us because, as you mentioned, the Multnomah County Fair, it's keeping the streak alive. 114 years and counting. They were not going to cancel it this year. Now, as Kim and Sean were just saying, you can't actually attend it. It's going to be virtual. Uh, but the one thing that they're doing, and I'm with Kim Walters, by the way, she's the food superintendent of the fair. You'll be judging all these items. Every you, you get thousands of entries in various categories from arts to, you know, produce to food. And so you, you judge the food, right? Yes. How many different types of you know, foods are a part of the fair that are there, judged here? There are 17 different classes with many different lots underneath it. Different classes. So what class might be bread, and then like cookies might be one, and then jams, and so on and so forth, right? Correct. All the, and then little subcategories underneath that. So you guys eat a lot of stuff. Uh, before we go any further, I, why are you dressed like a bumblebee? Well, the foods uh, department yeah. next year is going to start Bakers to Be for children under the age of six. Bakers to B. B. Gotcha. B. All right. I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> it's a buzzy name. Oh, my God. I apologize for that. Okay. So what we're going to do right now, Kim said as a special guest, because I've been doing this with you for years. Yes. And because it is a very special Multnomah County Fair, I can be a guest judge. But because we're doing it on Good Day Oregon, it's not going to be the best of shows. No. No, no, no. Let's crown the best, best of, Joe. of Joe. Shall we? Okay, yes. so we're gonna hop to it. I'm I'm starving. I don't know where to start. So do I just like open? This oh up no no no! You can't this taste this here. Say that again. You cannot taste this here. I can't taste any no. of the food. No. How do, you, how do you judge? Hold on a sec. How, so you're saying we gotta judge food and we can't taste the food? That is correct. Just when you thought 2020 couldn't get any worse, <laughs> I've gotta judge food without tasting it. All right, so how do we, how do we, how do we do this? You have a nose. I do have a nose. You can so smell it. Mask. Yeah, barely. Okay. So I, I smell it. I, I look at it. Like, is that, that's what we're judging this on? Looks and smell. Okay. And texture. You can feel it. It's like I, I'm judging art blindfolded here is what it feels <laughs> like. All right. So I can like, for instance, these cinnamon rolls. Well, actually, that does smell really good. Well, does it, it smell like cinnamon rolls? It, it sure does. Well, yeah, that, then that, that was really good. good. What, what are these right here? Those are what are called no-bake cookies, and they are boiled on the stove versus put in the oven to bake. You boil you cookies. You boil them. Okay. All right. Why not? Sure. Okay. And uh, these are, oh, these, now these probably smell really good, right? This is, uh, what do we do? There we go. Ooh, so, and these are what? Is this a category here? Like it is. dried herbs? Dried foods, okay. yes. And then look at this. We've got all these goodies uh, over here. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to start handing out some awards right now. So I think the boiled cookies, I think I'm going to give that my, my third place award. So look at that. There you go. I mean, that is an award that whoever made those boiled cookies, they're going to be telling their, yeah, their grandkids the, about all that. All the entry uh, tags are still folded, so you don't know who made it yet. So, so look at this, guys. We've got all these other candies here. And then I saw this one, and I was like, that looks really good. And you told me this is what? Dog treats. These are dog treats. That's so a new category for next year. Because they look... So good, dog treats even a human can eat. That, that's going to get second place. <laughs> and then you mentioned you're, you're encouraging kids to be uh, cooking and preparing food. Oh, right? yes. And this one was prepared by a, a, a young five person. A five-year-old. A five-year-old? A five-year-old. And this is, if I can read this right, pumpkin spice rice crispy treat with Teddy Grahams. And just the creativity <laughs> alone. No kidding. That gets, that gets the grand prize right there, the, the grand Joe <laughs> right there. So there you go. All right, so once again, they're going to be judging all these items, uh, and you can see the finished product, the virtual Multnomah County Fair, uh, once again at their website. That'll be uh, up uh, a few days later. We'll have a link to all of that information at kptv.com. Kim, thank you for sharing this with us. Do appreciate it. Have a great time, and I look forward to seeing you again next year and actually tasting some of this food in 2021. Thanks for coming out. All right, it's a day. And, guys, that'll wrap it up. Shauna, I know you're not a big pumpkin pie fan, but what about a pumpkin spice Rice Krispie treat? That I could do. She's that all in with that. I delicious. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, Joe, thank you. I'll take that yeah. ribbon. That's pretty snazzy. <laughs> Best of Joe. I want to put it up on my shelf. I'm gonna wear Can I put it up like up? on my bookshelf? Yeah. That could go in this space right behind Perfect. me on the wall. I'll wear it. <laughs> <laughs>
Boy, I, 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 Thanks, love, Joe. I love how, you know, everybody's adapting. It's an inter interesting way to, to judge yeah, food. It, it is. really is. Years ago, I was a spicy food uh, judge uh, at a competition at the state fair. You I were wish spicier, the food was. It, the, the spicy, <laughs> the food, I wish it was just visual then. Right, oh, <laughs> I man. bet. Yeah, because then I went to the tilt-a-whirl. So anyway, <laughs> uh, 